game on. I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna to you all. Whoa, 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 Mindy, what did we say about swearing? Don't do it. You know what you have to do. Put a dollar in the swear jar. Um, it's already full. I swear, forget the swear jar. You're gonna need a swear garbage can. Get your kick-ass figures at BigBadToysStore.com. Link in the description. They kick ass. Love it, kids. It's time for you. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Kick-Ass 2 NECA Hit Girl 7-inch movie figure. Here we got Hit Girl in the censored retail Kick-Ass 2 uh, packaging that just says KA2. You can see her uh, with the Kick-Ass uh, painted symbol on the behind her with a brick wall. It says Hit Girl with a picture of the figure. Warning, you won't choke on your Hit Girl. She will kick your ass. Back of the clamshell packaging shows a picture of Hit Girl with KA2 right there. It uh, has a little bio about uh, uh, Kick-Ass and Hit Girl, which just calls them K.A. And also the other figures in Wave 1. Time for this girl to take a hit, so you better not mess with her. You might have... Here we got Hit Girl from NECA. Now this figure kicks ass, except for one major flaw. Let me show you. Usually NECA is pretty top-notch with their head sculpts and their likenesses. However, this is not one of them. I love this figure, but... The head sculpt, I am not a fan of. This does not look like Hit Girl whatsoever to me. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, when you look at the picture of her that's on the, the package, this looks good. I was like, yeah, like when I saw the pictures, oh man, Nika, you did an amazing job. Then when I got this figure, I'm like, what the hell, man? So yeah, I mean, the figure, I love this except for the head sculpt. Now, I do give it credit, it is better than the Mezco one. In fact, the Mezco one overall could not stand to save her life. This one was like, I never even reviewed it because, yeah, it was uh, very disappointing. It does not look like Chloe Moritz uh, at all. It just, yeah. The paint is pretty cool in her hair. I do like the shading. You know, gotta give it credit where credit's due. Yeah, just, uh, but... The face aside, I really love that the cape is cloth, and it's a really nice uh, two-layered cape. Really nice, like, satin-ish. Uh, it's like a Hot Toys quality cape. I really love it a lot. And I wish Mattel would do this for uh, their figures, or, like, yeah, I love cloth capes. Always love them. And, um, the outfit looks really good. The detail is pretty top-notch. You know, she has her elbow pads and the Hit Girl you know, utility belt, which even has pouches. These aren't functional whatsoever. And her skirt, which is a nice uh, rubbery, pliable plastic, and it has a plaid right there. And she has her little knives that even has holsters that really work, so that's really great. I'll show more of that in a bit here. But yeah, I really love everything about this figure, minus the head sculpt. Yeah, like the boots are really cool. She has pig holes. Articulation, Hit Girl's head can fully rotate. It can go up and down pretty bit. The cape, you can move around. Uh, it actually has like a little thing if you want to remove this, by the way. And uh, But I, I like the cape a lot. It, it really looks cool and dynamic. The arms can fully rotate. The elbow pads are uh, connected to the uh, torso right here, so you don't have to worry. You can move them all the way around. You know, they're pliable and you can move them in and out that much. Uh, she bends at the elbow as well as rotates at the elbow. She also rotates at the wrist and goes in and out on ball jointed wrists. She uh, rotates uh, at the uh, upper part or the diaphragm, but um, and she does have a better out crunch than kick ass. But yeah, when you turn it, it kind of looks a little weird because of the zipper. But you know, what can you do? Um, what's great because of the skirt, uh, she has uh, really great leg articulation, so you can move her, you can have her sitting down, you can have her doing the splits almost. Uh, she also can rotate the part of the legs, and she has two points of knee articulation, which I love. And her ankles are uh, can fully rotate, uh, pivot forward and back, and ankle. Go pivot. A hit girl comes with a total of four hands or two pairs of hands. One uh, pair is made to hold her um, like staff, um, and one is uh, one pair is made to hold her gun. She comes not with one but six different throwing knives. They're all the same. They're really pliable uh, plastic, you know, really rubbery. Uh, so you don't have to worry about poking your eyes out. So they fit in nicely in each of these slots. Uh, so it's really cool that you have. So many. I wish she had holsters 
for her pistol. She comes with dual pistols. I don't know what the names of these are, but if you do, feel free to leave the comments. But her nice shiny paint and she fits in her hands really nicely. And she comes with her knife staff bow thingy. Uh, feel free to, if you know the actual name of this. Uh, this is also, you know, very soft, rubbery plastic. So um, it it uh, it doesn't seem like it'll break unless you're really trying to break it. So that's good. And what's cool about this, you can separate it into two weapons, like two um, knives. So I really like that a lot. Training time, Dave. What do you want me to do? Hit me. Hit me. Come on, hit me. Wait, before I do that, should I start talking like this? Oh. Does it look like I'm joking, Dave? What is this, high school? Size comparison time. So here you can see that Hit Girl, uh, compared to other NECA kick-ass figures like Kick-Ass, is a little bit shorter, which she should be. Um, you can see compared to the Mezca one, she's a lot taller, but that one, uh, even if she was standing up straight, uh, would be shorter because it's, uh, I guess, six inch scale. But yeah, that one can stand to save its life. You can see that she is about the same size as a standard six inch figure like Movie Master Superman and uh, a little bit shorter than the Marvel Legends Mark 42 Iron Man. This Hit Girl figure is so much better than the Mezco one in terms of posability, detail, uh, accessories, uh, but I am not a big fan of the head sculpt. I don't know why. Um, NECA, you know, I saw their their uh, Carrie figures, uh, who Chloe uh, is playing Carrie in that one, and it looks just like her in the Carrie figure, so why um, does it not look like her in, in the Hit Girl figure? Even from the picture on the package, it looks different, so it is disappointing that the head sculpt doesn't look like her and doesn't even look that good in terms of likeness or, I don't know, just looking good in general. However, the, even though the head sculpt isn't that great, everything about, uh, else about the figure is awesome. I love the detail, the posability, the cape, the accessories. It's, it's a really fun figure and until I guess the Metacom one uh, comes out, this is still the best Hit Girl figure we have. So I do commend NECA, even though I'm not a fan of the head sculpt, everything about, else of the figure I do love. So if you can look past the head sculpt and really do love the character or just want a really cool kick-ass or <laughs> for lack of a better word, a uh, female superhero figure, this is a great one to have. Um, however, if you really do like uh, Chloe Mortez um, as an actress and want a figure that looks like her, this is not a figure to get. So like I said, if you can look past the head sculpt, I, I do still recommend it. And uh, by the way, I saw Kick-Ass 2, love the film, oh my god, wait till my review of it. And if you want to win a Hot Toys Mark 7 Iron Man, uh, check out my channel. I have a video posted or click the uh, description or annotation. So for more geek news, reviews, podcasts, more, go to bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, remember, celebrate your name in a big way. All right, check out bkbn.net. Jason David Frank, Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> you and me like Batman Robin. <laughs> Robin wishes he was me. Holy hit girl Batman! Did she just say that I wish I was a girl? Huh, from that outfit? I thought you were a girl. Holy insult Batman! She just said mean things about me. That's not very nice young lady. Act like a bitch, get slapped like a bitch.